exotic car live stream we're gonna look at the vans later go ahead see if we're on go on your phone man you're gonna give me your knowledge man i know about some of these cars not all of them we'll go take a look at all of them all right i have no idea what this thing is tell us about this car that is a Lancia. I actually don't know much about it. I do know that the uh, brand Lancia is uh, Italian and they were highly involved in racing. I think the guy who owned it was called uh, Ferrizio Perazzo or something like Get that. on your phone. I think we got two people on the live stream. We got to read the comments. Didn't you say this was front wheel drive too? Uh, yeah, this is a front wheel that, drive. That caught me off guard, and that's Lola. <laughs> right there. Hey, what's up, Gen X? Hey, what's up, buddy? Sebastian's about to get on his phone here to look at the comments as we do this. But we're gonna, hey, uh, Gen X, the 4x4. See, man, I remember everyone who talks to me. Gen X has a U-joint 4x4 van, and hopefully I see you in a November, buddy. We'll talk about the vans later. So Gen X is in the live stream. All right, Sebastian, what is this thing? This is a Fiat Dino. See, I should have known that because I have a Fiat. Fiat Dino, absolutely gorgeous. I like, you know me, I like my Fiats. It's a pretty car inside. Probably Follow Gen X on Instagram, guys. This interior is absolutely gorgeous. Probably a four banger in here, I'm guessing. Yeah, four banger. Yeah, nice. That's a good looking car. Oh, Ferrari 308. Love the 308. Lamborghini. For the kids at home, Datsun means Nissan. So my knowledge of this car is that you could get, yeah, this is like 10 years ago though, because I was looking at getting one like 10, 15 years ago just for a, a spare car, but they were going for like five to eight grand. What do these things cost now? Uh, between 40. No, 40. Yeah, 40, somewhere around. Jeez. There. In good condition, you can get one like this for 40. Okay, there you go. This one's been repainted um, in lemon green, I believe. I like them. I'm feeling it. I'm feeling it with this one. All right, Pantera. Not too, okay, this is what I know about Pantera's 351 Ford, correct? Oh, yes. 351 Ford. And I heard, see, like some people like to be purists like myself, but I heard this is one of the cars you actually want to kind of like upgrade to more modern. You want to tune it? This one actually has been tuned because the chairs are a little bit too far forward for most people. So we had the front chair with the driver set side uh, back four inches to be able to fit the owner. Um, this car uh, came with a variation of engine, actually. And it was started by an Argentinian guy who moved to Italy and had a dream about starting a car company. I believe in some sort of weird way, Hero Shelby had something to do with it. Maybe they look, the engine or something like that. And they look like Lambos, pretty much. Looks like a Lambo. I mean, this thing was parked up in uh, 1970s next to box looking sedans from uh, Chrysler. So this thing compared to like a boxy sedan. Oh, it yeah, it stood out. It's a, it looked crazy. Seat. Yeah. So there are several cars here that talk to me. I like them all. Except this one. <laughs> I'm just kidding. Maybe I like it a little bit. We'll get to we'll get to this car later. But I do like all these cars. This is the first one that talks to me. Uh, GTX um, one. GTX one, 500 horsepower, and the standard one. This one has 550. And you got to look at the lovely supercharger. So same engine as the Lightning and the as a Lightning, right? Uh, yeah, same center, 5.4. But it has way more power than the Lightning. The Lightning had a 380, I believe, 380 horse. Oh, so 380, yeah, but this three, has a, 550 on this one. This is a monster. Yeah, 550 on this one. So same same engine as the Lightning. Well, see, a lot of the Europeans will criticize American cars for using a pickup truck engine, but how much does this cost to maintain? This one's very cheap. Versus a Ferrari, right? This is, this is $300 whenever you go to the maintenance. Yeah. 35,000. Because it's a truck motor. It's basically also the Econo in the 5.4. Yeah, yeah, with a supercharger oh, slapped on top. Yeah, yeah. supercharger. All right, let's give the pickup a little love. Don't know anything about this other than it's a Ford. 
So I, I cheated. It says Ford right there. So I'm not acting knowledgeable or nothing. The original Ford pickup truck. And there you go. Oh, let's uh, show the kids at home. Pickups were not super luxurious back in the day. This is what a truck interior looks like. Now you're all coddled in truck interiors. Yeah, your AC was bent right there. That was your AC. <laughs> that won't close. Okay. Doesn't close. Windows broken. Oh, okay, okay. This is a uh, most people in their 50s, 50s, 60s, 70s. This is gonna be their favorite car here, right? I'm guessing this is a car everyone likes. Everyone loves. Okay, the GTO. And this caught me off guard. Which motor is in this one? Man, well, it says 400 cubic inch on there. I'm not gonna pretend know I know too much about this car. About this. Yeah, don't know too much, but this is what shocked me. It's an automatic. I thought all GTOs were stick. And the roof is automatic. And the roof is automatic in the 60s. Automatic roof in the 1960s. And then surprisingly, you told me no one really cares about this one. Mm -hmm. The Viper, why? I like the Viper a lot. It's scary. I heard, but when people check out these cars, they're like not crazy about this one, huh? No, they really like the GTO, the pickup truck, and the, the classic Ferrari. Okay. Yeah, I, I'm digging the Viper, so the GT talk to me, the Viper right there. Okay, let's go to the car that doesn't talk to me, this thing right here. Who likes this thing? Anyone like this thing? I drive it though, I'm not gonna lie. I drive this. <laughs> we like Lola, not this car though. It is a V8 though, it's a proper Ferrari though, you said. Yeah, proper Ferrari just competed with the Lamborghini, uh, what was it, the Lamborghini? Uh, in that movie, uh, Lamborghini versus uh, Ferrari. Oh, okay, okay. What, wasn't there a Lamborghini versus Ford or Ferrari versus Ford movie too? That was great. And this is a four seater. I guess this is for the family man. Four there you go. It's for the, if you're a family man, it's a Ferrari you want to drive in. If you have 30 grand to maintain it, every three years, uh, yeah. 30 grand. Engine out. Did you? Whoever's watching this, did you know you got to pull the engine out of these older Ferraris to maintain it? It's crazy. Entire engine. Entire engine. It's engine out service. All right, let's go to like what I know. 427 Corvettes. Right here. I like the old stuff. Time's going by so fast now. This is considered old now. C6, we're at the C8 now. 427, 7.0, right there. And then this is a car I really like. It's really weird, but I really like this car right here. 348. I'm probably going to make several videos about this car. This car was unloved when it came out. The press just compared it to the NSX, said the NSX was just a much better value for the money. I'll, I'll, I drive this over the Acura though. And it has the, um, it just, it's just a good looking car. It has the Testarossa sides on it. Magnum PI right there. So do you want to say why is it called um, 328, 348? Oh, that's based on the engine. Yep. 3.8 liter, 3.6 liter. So when somebody says, oh, we've got a Ferrari 430, yeah, it's a naturally aspirated yep. 4.3 liter V8. Yeah, so that's the, that's the name, why they're named this way. So 328, 3.2 liter. That's a tiny V8, a 3.2 V8 gated shifter. Yeah, there you go. Everyone loves that, the gated shifter. I mean, I never drove one. Is it cool, the gated shifter is cool? I like the gated shifter. Okay. It's probably the best. The, the only one I really like is the gated shifter. There you go. I love it. And then Tiff said this is the greatest car of all time. Clarkson too, right? Clarkson went, or Clarkson went over the he, went, he went crazy over this one too, right? Yeah. The 355. He ended up getting this one in red. Okay. So 7,500 RPM red line on that one. 8,500 on that one, so it seems much higher. And here we go. Sebastian likes this car, I'm just not feeling this one. It's a good looking car though, let's take a look at the engine. His favorite part about Ferrari, the modern 
Ferraris is the engine and the glass. The Z06 you've been driving, the new one, is that convertible? It's convertible, but it doesn't have an engine cover. Yeah, the the um, the hard tops have you could the clear like the Ferraris. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. I saw a convertible with a option for that, which is extremely rare. Oh yeah, but I didn't even know that that yeah, they Z06 did that. Package has that. This is a 550 right here. Isn't this a four seater? No, it's a 575. Oh, 575. Okay, okay. 5.5 V12. V12. That's the V12 one. Naturally aspirated. Uh, 500 horsepower on this one. 550. 550. Okay. A V12. You know, if I um, if they made a V12 van, I would have got the V12 just for the emblem. <laughs> <laughs> there you go. Bunch of cool cars here. Are you on the live stream, man? There's yeah. six people. Who's on? Me. I just see Gen X van life right there. Come on, guys. Let's see the comments for you two. <laughs> Gen X van life so far said hi. Everyone's at work right now, probably. Oh, yeah. Follow him on Instagram. He has a 4x4. Four four. We need some more 4x4s four at the meets. If we get stuck. Yeah, someone, you're pulling. <laughs> Whoever has a 4x4 four four is pulling us out. It'll happen. <laughs> oh, yeah. No, nah, I'm learning the trails in Anza. Last time I was there, it went uh, <laughs> it went good. Last time I was there. There we go. Oh, there's Sebastian. Erica. What's up, Erica? You're new to this channel. Welcome. I haven't seen you stop by before, but thanks for stopping by. And this is what you guys want to see. Sorry, I got the sniffles, but I can't stop the live stream. That's what you guys want to see. See, I saved it till the end. Maybe we'll go back in the warehouse after this for uh, everyone stopping by late. I know I should like time these live streams, but there you go. Action Van Lift, the two lift kit companies in Southern California who lift these vans. Yeah, this live stream will be uploaded when it's done for everyone to watch who doesn't uh, come by in time. But yeah, I was joking with Sebastian. Um, yeah, I wanted to see the exotics, but that's what people came here to see. The vans, <laughs> the Ford vans, lifted Ford vans. Yeah, I look good. Lifted vans just look good, man. On your phone, are you able to see who's um who's in here? You're just walking out of the live stream. <laughs> All right, let's go in one more time. Take a look at some. Let's look. Um, one more look at the cars. Front wheel drive. That surprised me. A Fiat. See, I need to learn more about Fiat since I drive a Fiat. I right, see this car talks to me. This one does too, actually. Yeah. What's up, Yorgle? Yeah, Lamborghini SUVs, yeah. I think of Lamborghini Countaches when I think of Lamborghinis and Diablos. I haven't seen a Diablo in real life, actually, uh, man. Those uh, Lamborghini SUVs are just Volkswagen rebranded Audi parts. <laughs> Yo, Yorgle, you know what's funny, man? I made a short called, uh, is the Pontiac Aztec cool now because when the Pontiac Aztec came out you, you, anyone who knows about the Pontiac Aztec knows that that thing was panned when it came out but now in like 2024 you know since people like people get nostalgic now people like oddball things now is the Aztec finally a cool car and someone left a comment the the new Lamborghini SUV looks like an Aztec is that an insult to Lamborghini or a compliment to Pontiac <laughs> <laughs> Which one is it, man? <laughs> so should you put <laughs> Jose PhD? Yes, sir. We are live. We are live, sir. That's the man. PhD always in the comments every single time. Jose PhD always in the comments. You want to look at the vans, Jose? I know we like. I joked around right now. We're around a bunch of exotic cars, but uh, people want to see the vans. <laughs> People want to see the vans. I don't think there's any exotic car fanatics 
who watch my videos. So they're like, yeah, let's look at the vans. Since Jose PhD just got here, we'll go in the warehouse one more time. Yeah, I'm in Santa Barbara visiting Sebastian. And of course, the most important videos you guys want to see is the lifted van content. What's up, Mike? We got Mike. Yeah, I want to see, do you see Mike's comment? <laughs> I know, man, we're here for the vans. The exotic cars are nice. Lola's the best, but you guys want to see the vans. So there you go, some lifted vans. We got some lifted vans. Right there. The two companies that live vans in Southern California, Welltech and Action Van, side by side. And he's actually on smaller tires. And the eye test, the eye test is showing they're about the same height. I know that's important for people who want to lift their vans. Let's go in one more time since Mike just got here. Hey, Dana Wade and Rambo. Nice to see you guys. Jill, yes, people are showing up. Okay, do I gotta go back now? Jill wants a lift kit. Since Jill wants a lift kit, we gotta do this one more time. There you go, Jill Morgan. We're looking at exotic cars today, hang out with Sebastian, but I know you guys wanna see the lifted vans the most. There it is. Jill Morgan wants to lift her van someday. Follow her on Instagram, guys. All right, I gotta go back for Dana Wade and Rambo. I know they're all about Mopars. We gotta look at the Mopar. Excuse me for my sniffles, guys. Yeah, it was like storming. Was it storming here the other day, man? All right. Dana Wade and Rambo. Here you go. So since you guys just got to the live stream, Sebastian told me people don't actually dig the Viper too much. I do. There you go, some Mopar action. V10, hey, I got a V10 in my van. Uh, a little different than this one. I wish the V10 in my van was a 8.0. <laughs> would be nice. That would be nice. I just like how 8.0 sounds. Uh, I like badges. 427. You know I'm all about my sick add-on badges. GTO? Let's look at the GTO. So Sebastian said this is one of the well, more popular yeah. cars too. Yeah, yeah sure. people dig this car a lot. These kids are truck in the car. The truck in the car? Yeah. This is the car no one cares about. <laughs> <laughs> right there. Whoever's in the um, live stream right now, who likes this car? Thumbs up, whoever likes this car. Who likes this car? Because no one likes this car, prove me wrong. I still drive it though, I'm not gonna lie. Someone gave me this Ferrari right here. How do you pronounce it proper? Mondale, Mondial? Mondial. All right, there we go, Yorgle digs it. You know what, you want some useless trivia? Look it up, this car was in Family Matters. Really? With Urkel? No, no, the, the sitcom with the nerd? Uh, the Did I do that guy? Your goal, Family Matters, Steve Urkel and Eddie, Joy, Joy rode in this car, they got in trouble. Yeah, this car was, I remember that. This car was in a Family Matters. So maybe that's why I would drive it. So um, in Family Matters, the cousin, he had a bad boy cousin who uh, swiped this car and they Joy rode in it. There we go. We got an action man. Look at the look at that. Oh, Mike. Two sixty fives are the right size, dude. If you don't intend on regearing it, yo, Mike, what's uh, what motor do you got in your uh, Econoline, man? Because you got the four point six, right, Sebastian? Yeah. Oh, we gotta look at a Ford real quick. Five point four, super. Motor. So if you got a five point four Econoline. This is basically the same motor with a fat supercharger on the top. Yeah, we'll go out, I'm gonna go outside one more time, Mike. We'll take a look at the vans again, cause that's what you really wanna see. You guys don't care about this. You guys don't care, let's get out of here. Get out of here, Ford. 
5.4, oh yeah, dude. Yo, Mike, your 5.4 is gonna be fine with the 265s. I think 265s is where you wanna go if you don't wanna re-gear, because re-gearing is an expensive job. All right, here you go, Mike. So Sebastian's van is on an action van and he has the 285s. 265s, yeah, there you go. Sebastian's van with the 265, 75-16s. E-rated. E-rated stock rims. So there you go, Mike. So if you want a perspective, if you want a perspective on a action van lift with 265s, there you go, man. It still looks good. I had 245 on mine and they, they didn't look good at all. Yeah, Jill Morgan, I wanna see you with the lift so bad. Your van looks good. Have you seen Jill's van? She has the nice mountain decals yeah, on the side, yeah. Yep. There you go, Mike, let's take a look. So, mine's on 285s. And I talked about this earlier, so, me and, I was joking with Sebastian that I know all the useless trivia. We were just talking about RPMs. That's the kind of stuff I talk about. But here's something I noticed about the action van. My, my hands at the, at the edge of the bumper, I'm touching the second tire, second tire tread. So we're both on stock rims. So on the Weltec, I'm on the first tire tread. So the action van's actually a little wider than the Weltec. The track, because the Weltec sucks in the tire width with the bent I beams, action van stock orientation. So there you go, Mike. Your van will look just fine if you. If you decide to stay with the 265s, there you go, man. I think this looks good. Good gas, I get 20 mpg. Oh, yeah, yeah. That guy used to almost uh, 244, 200 bucks transfer away with 10 ply. Oh, yeah, yeah, 10 plies are rough. <laughs> Sebastian believes in 10 plies. I actually don't. See, that's we might do a podcast one day. Thumbs up. Who wants to see a lifted van podcast? But yeah, Mike, um, anyone watching this, this is all opinion. Larry from Action Van, he runs Dura tracks. Those are not 10 plies. So I have a feeling if you go with non 10 plies, you're obviously gonna ride nicer. So these lift kits from both companies, Welltech and Action Van, your ride's gonna improve. Now, if you combine it with softer tires, it's gonna be a lot even nicer. But you believe you in harder. Just down a little bit. Exactly, exactly. Because um, the load range ease, it's like ob obscene. You can air down while you're driving. You can also air down more when you're going over sharp stones and sharp uh, wooden sticks that can penetrate your tires. You have more protection. Yeah. Because I'm not running a spare. So I'm like, E-rated was kind of like a must. Yeah, so here's the thing with E-rated, Mike. They're like, they're the freaking, they're stout tires. And Sebastian, like you said, you ran over a bottle, right? And yeah, punctured your non ease. Show you the gash is almost to the, to the wire, and not, the guy was like, "Yeah, you're still good. You're an E-rated." Yeah, see, like I think next go around, I might actually go non E-rated because my off roading is mostly sand. So I don't know. That'll be a good video. If, uh, like I said, Welltech Action Van Lift, they both improve the ride quality yep. of your van. Really nice. But like I said, combined with load range ease, I figure you don't do load range ease, a softer compound, you're going to ride even nicer. Well, that's another thing, though, the type of tires, so these KO2s, they have excellent grip on-road and off-road, but they do wear down faster because they have a softer compound. Other tires, like for example, the Wild Peaks, they have a harder compound, they will last longer, which is what Larry sometimes ran on his van. Yeah. He said he, he tried the Dura Trex, where he had Wild Peaks, and he's like, the KO2s, they do wear down faster, but you get really good apocalyptic minister <laughs> i don't let me see yo mike so two dirt bikes you're fine because load range ease i'm ready to hold four thousand pounds in my van i'm not holding no four thousand pounds in my van so two dirt bikes what's a dirt bike weight 300 pounds 600 pounds in your van you'll be fine you know that's that's just a couple of uh passengers i don't think i have any gaming systems ready in my van right now apocalyptic all right, we'll show yours, but uh, let's see. You got the retro yeah, see, all apocalyptic. All my games are in this bin here. There you go, NES game right there. I'm on a road trip right now, visiting a buddy, so I put all the video games away for now. There's a TV, solar right there, a microwave. Let's take a look at what Sebastian has in his van for some video gaming action. Lola right there. Yo, Mike, when are you planning to get lifted, man? 
I get excited for people, man, when they're gonna get lifted. All right, here you go, apocalyptic. Oh, back, okay. Check out apocalyptic. We're around a bunch of exotic cars right now, but I know people are here for the van. <laughs> Here you go. Well, Look at that. I got a subwoofer too now. <laughs> Apocalyptic. This is why you need a van, bro. We just chilling. See, this is, this could be your life, Apocalyptic Minister. PS5. <coughs> that TV is ridiculous. Mine's a 19 inch. But yeah, this is this is what you got. Look, see, Apocalyptic Minister, man. Mm -hmm. Yeah, this guy wants a van. Wooden and, floors. And he's a gamer. Oh, and he'll lose it. Yeah. So there you go, apocalyptic. This is Sebastian's life's van. Right there. Hopefully next hopefully this year, right on, Mike. He'll get it. Ugh. All right, let's go in for um people who are new to this live stream who just got here. <laughs> yeah, that that TV's ridiculous, man. Dude, my 19-inch TV is uh from my last van 12 years ago. But yeah, check this out, Apocalyptic. This guy's around exotic cars all the time. But then we keep going outside to talk about vans. <laughs> Lola. Now you guys know if I add. I'm running 16s, Mike, so I think you should be fine. Both of our rims are um, 16s. I, I, I would figure if... Um, 2008s have stock 16 inch rims. You should be fine with uh, upgraded calipers from uh, 08s. So there you go. See, people keep wanting to see this, man. Yeah. <laughs> That's what I like about your channel. <laughs> there you go. Yo, Apocalyptic, what do you want to see? He might have it in this warehouse. Shall we go back? Let's go back for Apocalyptic Minister now. I don't know. Apocalyptic Minister, what do you like? What kind of cars do you like, man? The eight, the oh, check this out, dude. This is what it like surprised me about the E350s. Disc brakes, ox locker, disc brakes, and you're running. Do you got disc or drums? Got disc, buddy. Oh, you got disc. Nice. <laughs> Some have, dude, my last van had drums. Oh, that's, that's horrible. <laughs> that's <a little> sick, <laughs> buddy. <laughs> yeah, so I thought Sebastian's van would have drums because my E150 had drums. You're, I didn't know they came with drums. They came with drums. <laughs> the, the Lambo right there. That's the only Lambo here though. No Countach's or Diablos. It's in the Rocco. But there you go, Magnum PI, apocalyptic. Magnum PI. I'll shave my beard, get a Hawaiian shirt, drive this car. Nope, where's the Porsche at, Sebastian? Uh, no Porsches. A bunch of Ferraris. Oh, you like Ferraris? Oh, Apocalyptic. Were you here when I was talking about family matters? Like, this is the course uh, Eddie Winslow's cousin swiped. They brought Urkel with them. That's how I remember this car. But this is the car that uh, no Ferrari fans really like, except whoever owns this thing. I hope he's not watching this video. Uh, if you're watching this video, guy that owns this, I, I, I do like it for real. I just, I'm just... Kind of making fun of it. It's the car I want. 355, but I'm a Corvette guy. Yeah, <laughs> apocalyptic minister. So it's it's funny because I'm a I'm a I'm a car nut, man. Retro game nut, car nut, lifted van nut. So I know this Ferrari. It's it's a weird one. It like looks nice, but it doesn't. I can't explain it. It's a four seater. Yeah, it's just an awkward looking car, but it's it's a V8. It has the gated shifter on it. It's almost as long as the GTO. Yeah, yeah. See, V8, beautiful engine. It, it's, just, it's just not doing it for me, but I just remember this thing in Family Matters. Eddie's cousin, man. They, they, he was uh, acting like he was a valet driver. See you, Gen X. I hope to see your four-wheel drive, man. We need some four-wheel drives at the meet. Guys, uh, check out Gen X Van Life's uh, Instagram. So there you go, apocalyptic. 
Yeah, yeah, Mike, uh, my um, Instagram's the same as my YouTube channel, man. Send me some pictures. I love this stuff. We're gonna go outside again to look at the vans some more. <laughs> yeah, screw these cars. <laughs> Let's go outside and look at vans. Yeah, yeah, man, apocalyptic. Uh, Sebastian invited me. I was uh, hanging out with my girlfriend, and I said, you know what? Let me take a ride down to Santa Barbara, hang out with Sebastian, because I see Sebastian and all his... Uh, in all his videos around these cool cars. And it's like, man, I've never been around these cars before. Let me check it out. All right, Mike. Uh, yo, Sebastian. Uh, yo. There's this thing. Dance. Yeah, there's this thing right there. Yo, Mike, I'll go back to this. Um, you know what, Mike, do me a favor. Go to one of my YouTube videos and um, give me your Instagram because I got to go back to this live stream. So yeah, back to the vans. Mike, he's wanting a lifted van, apocalyptic minister is also wanting a van preferably lifted definitely it's going to have retro gaming in it right <laughs> there you go lifted vans right there yeah mike i'll check your stuff out man <laughs> so apocalyptic minister like you know what i like hearing about the most is people telling me their stories right so a lot of people message me on Instagram, YouTube, and one of my favorite comments I get is, my kids love the van. They just want to go anywhere in the van. Like, that's what they want. The van is the favorite thing they ever own, like, to my uh, subscribers who are parents. Yeah, it's all about the vans, man. It's all about the vans. Uh, yeah, apocalyptic manner. See, man, I remember the things that people tell me. You told me, like, your daughter says you should get a van versus a truck. All right, Mike, I'll check out your Instagram for sure, man, so I can see what you're running, man. I get excited about this stuff. See, I'm outside again. We keep going back in and out. We keep going back to the vans. <laughs> we need more video of Rambo in the van. <laughs> Dude, it's all Dogs love vans. Dogs love vans. They get to travel. Dogs, they like the space. The van has a bed in it. I'm sure the Jeep doesn't. <laughs> you know what I also say about my subscribers with vans? You guys have such cool cars. Dana Wade and Rambo have an awesome Jeep. Like, it's cool. You know what? One of my favorite things about this channel, when it comes to my, uh, you know, van subscribers, is just seeing what other rides they have. And Dana Wade and Rambo, you guys had some challengers too, I believe. You had some, I think Dana Way to Rambo had some scat pack challengers. Yeah, so yeah, cars. yeah, yeah. And they have a, currently have a Jeep, a really nice Jeep. Uh, See you, Jill Morgan. Your van's awesome with that mountain decal. That was a nice touch. I really liked it. I was really happy when I finally saw your um, Instagram because I've been getting your comments and uh, I've been wondering what your van looks like. Yeah, man, you know, apocalyptic minister, I got so many videos, right, that I need to talk about. Like, when I go camping by myself, or like I'm like parked somewhere, I want to play video games. I don't want to hike. <laughs> A lot of people want to hike. I want to stay in my van with the door open. What's up, sporty one? Sick add-ons. Let's see. I got, I got, have I shared this sick add-on yet? But yeah, apocalyptic, man, like... I just want to sit in my van on my couch and play retro gamings with the door wide open. I don't want to go hiking. I lift weights. There you go, sporty one. Sick add-on. <laughs> yeah, I, I'll do a video like that someday. Everyone wants to wake me up and make me go hiking. Nah, I'm going to sit in my van and play video games. Some Ninja Gaiden. Mike Tyson's punch out. Hopefully that Mike Tyson versus Jake Paul fight isn't fixed and they get to fight for real. Jake Paul will get crushed. <laughs> oh man, when Mike Tyson hits the freaking heavy bash, still sounds like a gunshot. Uh, Jake Paul's in for a rude awakening if he gets punched. <laughs> Hopefully the fight's not fixed. 
Here you go, sporty one. We were in here earlier, but people like the van stuff more than the cars. <laughs> people like the van stuff more than the, these cars. Yeah, I have a feeling apocalyptic. They're gonna give some kind of clause that Mike Tyson's not allowed to punch Jake Paul in the face. <laughs> you know, Ninja Gaiden makes me wanna throw the controller at the screen. I hear that, maybe, maybe that's why I need to go up to the mountains more so after Ninja Gaiden crushes me, I could go on a little hike. <laughs> you know, good. That's true. I could beat the second one and the third one, the Japanese version of the third one, but not the uh, American third one. I don't think I've ever beaten the first one. I got to the last level though. Apocalyptic Minister, you saw that I have a little Castlevania skills, just a little bit, sometimes. <laughs> Oh, you close the motor. I'm going to show this again since it has the 5.4. Maybe us with vans to supercharge our motors. Probably will fit. No. No? no. Damn. <laughs> <laughs> that was a good one, man. What's that level with the birds and the pillars? That's, uh, is that level like six something on, in Ninja Gaiden? Takes everyone out. Has good music though. I think Apocalyptic, you caught it when I was listening to Ninja Gaiden music before I went to work. Did Jose PhD leave already? All right. I'm gonna, I'm gonna stay for like five more minutes. Anyone got questions, any requests? What do you wanna see, what, what? parts? What yeah. Oh, good. nice, man. Good job, Apocalypse. Hey, Ninja Guidance. I could get to the last level, last boss. It's like brutal, man. You keep the same power. <laughs> and the first Castlevania. You know what? It's crazy, Apocalypse. I like Castlevania 3 more than I like 4 on Super Nintendo. Yorgo's a retro gamer, too. I have all my retro games in here, Yorgo. Man, I wish I took them out now. I just decided to live stream because me and Sebastian here, we were just talking about cars i'm like you know what let me live stream take a look at the vans one more time i got a few things in here pull my bin out here see i got my little bin of retro gaming right here a little of everything right there turbo mini love this thing All right, let's take a look. Yeah, keep my stuff nice and neat, especially since I'm on a road trip. And then here's Sebastian's van. He has a ridiculously big TV. There you go. The, the cool thing about van builds is everyone has their own version of what they think is, you know, what they want to do with their vans. And he has a ridiculous TV in his van. He's a modern gamer though, PS5. Yeah, gigantic TV. My TV's all tiny compared to his. Let's see. How big's your TV, Sebastian? 45. 45, geez. 45 inch TV in a van. I'm just running a 19 right there 19 inch tv a visio that still works <laughs> there you go yeah sebastian's van you know i do like your setup though very nice setup and my van's longer i have the extended one see i taught sebastian how to park i said this is how you compare vans it has to be like in the same position because we were comparing like lift kit heights. And then you can see my van's extended an extra 18 inches. It makes a difference, believe it or not. See, 
There, right there. See that little tiny window? That's the extra length of my van compared to Sebastian's van. I don't have very good space management in my van compared to Sebastian. Yeah, that's the cool thing about vans, man. You're just chilling. The van's the ultimate, like, just chilling vehicle. Who's the dog, John? Lola. Lola, yes, the Lola dog. That's Sebastian's dog. Right, he remembered me when I jumped out. <sighs> He's making videos too. <laughs> All right, let's go back in here one more time. I always say I'm gonna live stream for like five minutes. It ended up being 41 minutes. <laughs> Good girl, yeah, Lola. Dogs don't know, they don't care. They don't care what they identify as. Yeah, so it's pretty cool. I never got to be around Ferraris like this before. I always saw them in magazines like, you know, Motor Trend, Need for Speed. I have no idea, Yorgel. I don't, sometimes I don't want to be in this state, man. Lola's so pretty. Yeah, Lola's such a nice dog. Sebastian adopted her when she was a baby, I believe. Yo, what's up, man? You're at the end of the live stream, so let's go back outside one more time. Oh, man, it's been raining in California, so I got sniffles right now. What up, man? We got one here. See, sorry, I'm gonna hack your name, man. I Z E U. Is that? Am I saying it right? Uh, make it high, high foot. I can't even say the word high phonetically, so I can say it correctly. But yeah, that guy. I Z U. Oh yeah, nice. Let's go look one more time. Oh, I just noticed, bro. You've been uploading a lot of shorts, and you've been showing like a bunch of, um, you know, a bunch of like Porsches. Apocalyptic minister wanted a. Uh, Isaiah, okay. Okay, you spelled it cool, Isaiah. So it's funny, Isaiah, because I'm hanging out with Sebastian's Life 91 here. Check out his YouTube channel, his Instagram. But yeah, you know the uh, video you commented on, my short, he's one of the guys I went off-roading in, off-roading with. And um, yeah, this guy, he's around exotic cars, showed me all these cool exotic cars, but I'm joking around that uh, we want to see the vans more. And I know you want to get lifted by November so you could join us at one of these lifted van meets. So here we go, man. Here we go, dude. Lifted vans. He's making videos right now. There you go. Lifted vans. Isaiah here has a express. See, that's the guy in the comments, yeah. man. Yeah, he's in the live stream right now. But there you go, man. Lifted vans. You want your van lifted? I recommend you um, call Boulder Off Road and Welltech. And if you go with Welltech, say John drives anything sent you. They're a big fan of mine. Welltech loves my channel, right? They're a big fan of my channel. Offering uh, my subscribers, my first five subscribers who get referred by me, some sort of discount. Some sort of discount. Some sort of discount. Doesn't hurt to ask. Even though you got a GM van, Isaiah, like, ask for, say, John drives anything sent me. All right, one more walk around here. So, I made a video of this already, but... All these cars are cool, but this is the ones that talk to me. This car right here. Sebastian said everyone loves the GTO. And he said no one likes the Viper. I like the Viper a lot. Uh, and then these cars talk to me right here. I do like the 360, but the uh, this car right here, 328, 348, 355, and of course the Corvettes, the 427. 
427s all around. Classic 427. And is this car a classic now? Are C6s considered classic now? 427 C6. Shall we look at the Ford GT again? One more time. Let's look at the Ford GT again. Um, why are these cars here, Sebastian? They're asking like, what's the deal with all these cars, man? Uh, this is one of my clients. I am a automotive detailer. I do paint protection, film, marine, car industry, you name it. There you go. So he details these cars. So it's pretty cool that we have the privilege to be around these cars, check them out. And here you go, Ford GT. He wanted to see the Ford GTX actually, 550 horsepower, not just 500. GTX one, there you go. Too bad this won't fit in our vans. Same modular motor. <laughs> All right, this is for you, Yorgel. So your dad had a 427. Ah, I just love badges, man. I just love seeing badges on these cars, man. You just, some people believe in debadging. I don't. I like badges, 427. Four twenty seven. Four twenty seven. Seven point oh. And Dodge Viper V10. All right, shall we end the video on one more badge? As these cars get older, I, I really start liking them a lot. Maybe because they just, you don't see it. Like when I was a kid, you used to see these all the time. Lambo, Ferrari. All right, last round out. Nice to see all you guys in here. Talking mostly lifted vans. The, the exotic cars are nice, but it's all about the, the lifted vans, man. Here you go. This is how much I love badges. V10. Wish I had the Dodge V10 in here, but that'll do. Pretty cool. See, this is the uh, car guy in me. 6.8 liter. I added that. That wasn't factory. This is the... Uh, aftermarket fenders, but factory badge right there. V10, 6.8 liter. You need some badging, man. What's up with this? <laughs> America. Wide body fenders. Thanks, Yorgle. I, I thought it was a nice touch. You know what though? You know what I really wish the Ford uh, V10 was? I wish it was like a 7 point something, 6.8. That's pretty big. With a V10, it's only 6.8. It is what it is though. Cause the Dodge V10 is like 8.0. <laughs> Jesus 6.8 <laughs> sounds pretty cool. But God, the Corvette V8 is 7.0. Yeah. There's only a 6.8. But yeah, I wanted to add that. That's the that's the that's a muscle car guy in me. I can't put a 4.6 on mine. That's embarrassing. <laughs> <laughs> well, yeah, if there's uh, 6.8 vans, right? I put the 4.6. <laughs> yeah, yeah. You know what's funny, Yorgel? My last van was a 5.0. I put the 302 emblem uh, up front of my last van. <laughs> you know that? I put the 302 high performance, even though it was low performance. It was barely performance. <laughs> it was barely performance. <laughs> but I like cubic inch badging, too. 6.8, I like that. But you know what you uh, think about when you think of like cubic inches, like one more round. I keep saying one more round. <laughs> one more round for real. You guys you guys are getting me rolling, man. Uh, 454, people like 454, that's a popular one. Or Hemi, Hemi in the old, uh, in, in the, uh, old Mopar cars. Isaiah, man, you got to post more of your van, man. And then this one's going to say Pinaferina on the side, right? Always, Ferrari always does that. Those two guys are great. Yep. Pinaferina. One more round. See, I like how the Americans always use badges. You know? 
Viper. Yeah, Apocalypse in my last van was a 302. So my second time around with the van, I said, I gotta get a V10. They make a V10 for a van, let me get a V10. Which one, Dana Wade? And then uh, Sebastian likes this car. Th these new Ferraris don't talk to me. But it's a good looking car. I really like this a lot. I really like the, the glass there. And then, uh, of course, you guys probably know the new Corvettes are rear engine. They also do this now. Yeah, right on, man. Yeah, dude, do some longer videos, man. I'll give you, I'll give you more shout outs. Now, like I said, man, once you get your van lifted, you're always welcome to join us. You know, that's what I started on my channel. I just want to get, before I sign off here, you know, I've said this story before, but a lot of times, you know, I love, as much as I like these, as, as much as these are cool, I like the lifted vans. If I won the lottery, I went by the lottery, by the way, guys, $999 million jackpot. But if I won the lottery, I'd still drive a van. But yeah, Isaiah, man, I started my lifted van meets because um, I see so many people sell their lifted vans and it's always advertised as never been off-roading, never been camping. So I said, you know what? Maybe I should just start doing a lifted van meet. This is one of the guys I met through that Hungry Valley. Isaiah saw that Hungry Valley, Hungry Valley video. And uh, yeah, this is one of the guys I met and I convinced him to get a proper lift kit. He had spacers. He had spacers, right? Yeah, spacer. Now he's now he has a proper lift kit in his. But yeah, man. There you go, guys. Apocalyptic, Dana Wade and Rambo. Everyone who stopped by today. Jose PhD, of Gen X. Yeah, man. This, this is what it's all about. We love the exotic cars, but it's all about the lifted vans here. So this uh, this live stream will be um, it will be uploaded as a normal YouTube video. I didn't think I would talk for an hour. I said, "What? Like, we're gonna talk for 15 minutes?" Yeah, but you guys make it so much fun. All right, guys, I will catch you guys later. You guys have a great one. Say bye. Bye, bye Lola. Lola, say bye. Say bye. Say bye. Okay. Little, little, little doggy.